In this video, we're going to talk about risk standards. The risk standards topic sits at the heart of the draft standards. This topic is designed to elevate and clarify the existing mechanisms that are already in place for B Corp certification to make them more explicit. As you know, the draft standards are structured as 10 minimum requirements, and this is the final video of the series where we've explored each of the topics in the draft. The risk standards topic aims to have B Corps avoid, manage, and or effectively respond to specific potential negative impacts associated with specific industries or practices, as well as existing or emergent concerns from their stakeholders. This topic is where B-Lab would screen companies for potentially negative and controversial practices. All organizations seeking B Corp certification must meet some requirements that are laid out in the draft standards on this topic. First, an organization must meet all specific industry requirements outlined on B-Lab's controversial issues page. Within this requirement, the organization will need to identify any industry or topic where specific standards exist or are in need of development. It will then need to meet all existing and developed standards. Note that B-Lab continues to develop new specific industry requirements and affected organizations may not be able to pursue B Corp certification until those new st standards are developed and met. Second, an organization must avoid or address other key topics of stakeholder concern that are evaluated using B-Lab's disclosure questionnaire and screening processes. To meet this requirement, organizations must complete the disclosure questionnaire within the B Impact Assessment and have a background check as needed. In addition, some organizations may undergo a review of their practices to determine eligibility for B Corp certification. Third, an organization must have mechanisms in place to receive and adequately respond to, remediate, and provide access to remedy for complaints and grievances from stakeholders. Smaller companies may be exempt from having a full grievance mechanism, and B-Lab will also continue to maintain a public complaints mechanism. Fourth, an organization must not misrepresent information to B-Lab or the public. It will need to attest to the honesty and accuracy of information provided and follow responsible marketing and branding guidelines as a condition of B Corp certification. Fifth, an organization's lobbying positions must not contradict the company's purpose or run counter to an inclusive, equitable, and regenerative economy. The requirements the organization must meet include review and disclosure of its lobbying positions and their impact. If such contradictions are determined to exist, the organization will not be eligible for B Corp certification. Now let's consider a couple of questions that might help you navigate the risk standards topic. Should this topic stand alone or be weaved in with all the other topics in the assessment? Do the requirements in this topic adequately address the potential for organizations to engage in greenwashing, rainbow washing, or purpose washing? If not, what's needed to improve the effectiveness of the requirements within the topic? If you are passionate about shaping the risk standards topic, feel free to navigate to it in your survey to provide your input. We hope you've enjoyed the videos in this series on evolving the standards for B Corp certification. We look forward to receiving your inputs and having our collective wisdom shape the future of these standards. Bye for now.